Okay, so I got in a lot of trouble on the last video because I missed out one particular lady from the list along with several other particular ladies from the list. So here is yet another list of British 80s sitcom girls. Number 10, Paula Wilcox. Best known maybe for Man About the House, which was 1973 to 1976, Paula had quite a lot of people suggesting her for this list, so here you go. Most recently she will have been seen in Coronation Street, but she has had a varied career and in 80s land she was in The Bright Side, a Channel 4 sitcom from 1985. This clip is from Man About the House. Yes, and you showed me your flannel full of shrapnel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, I believe tomorrow's going to be quite a special day for you. Tomorrow? Da-dum, 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 da-dum. Happy birthday to who? <laughs> Number 9, Sandra Dickinson. Sandra played Trillian in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and was most recently in The Batman, believe it or not. This clip here is from Hitchhiker's Guide, of course, which was 80s, wasn't it? But was it a sitcom or was it more than that? I wasn't allowed to watch it because my religious nutcase dad thought it made a mockery of creationism. So there you go. How was your childhood? Do you think we could stabilise the next zero zero five four seven? Corner on the moped. Oh, what? It's crazy. Without programming, anything could happen. Whereas at the moment, we just definitely die. Is that it? Number eight, Andre Bernard. She was Neris, the barmaid in Only Fools and Horses, and was most recently in something called Playing Dead. I'll be honest, if it was made after 1989, um, I don't really know what it is. This clip is from Holy Fools and Horses, of course, and it's short because, you know, copyright and all that. But hey, <laughs> at least it's not the clip of Del Boy falling through the sodding bar again. Hi. Is this a free world van? I don't mind. Well, you just name your destination. I don't care. This will be an experience you will never forget, Neris. Number seven, Janine Wood. Janine was in After Henry in the 80s and played Claire France. She was most recently on a miniseries titled Innocent. This clip that you're gonna see is from After Henry, which was a sitcom that ran from 1988 to 1992, but it feels a lot older than that, to be honest. Goodness, where did I go wrong as a parent? <laughs> I don't think it's too revealing. Just like something out of Penthouse. <laughs> I think we've done everything. Um, Claire, you did say Sophie had the identical costume to you, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Janet Dibley. She was Elaine in The Two of Us, 1986 to 1990 on ITV. Weirdly, Patrick Troughton was in this as well, of all people. Elaine and Ashley, Ashley being played by Nicholas Lindhurst, was an unmarried couple living together at a time when that still caused a bit of controversy. Yeah, could do, I suppose. Well, don't sound too keen. Wifely things, too, like um, sew buttons on my socks, so don't forget, <laughs> will you? <laughs> ah, ah! I seem to enjoy the weekend. Even my mum. <laughs> yeah, sometime during the week. I'll get an hour off work. Tell them I've got to go to the dentist or something. <laughs> Number five, Jan Francis. She was, of course, in Just Good Friends from 1983 to 1986, which followed the on-again, off-again, and then sometimes on-again relationship between Penny Warrender and Vincent Pinner. Jan was in something called the Ghostbusters of East Finchley, whatever that was. I, I really want to go and find out. I work for an advertising agency in Park Lane. Have you ever heard of Matthew Stiles and Lieberman? Uh, yes, I think I've got a couple of their LPs at home. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Those things. An isolated incident. It's like that film, simply Saturday night and Sunday morning. And Sunday afternoon. Forget it! <laughs> Number four, Francesca Gonshaw, a.k.a. that other waitress in LOLO. Yes, you all gave me a right telling off for putting the wrong waitress in the last video, didn't you? So here is Maria, another one of Renee's lovers. Maybe it's his eau de sweaty bloke that drives them mad. Or perhaps he's just got a really nice baguette. Someone at the window? Yes, I heard. <laughs> I shall see who it is. <sighs> Michel Francois Resistance! Do not mention that word in here. Oh, that Michel will get me shot. It's so unromantic. 
But you don't have to sit on it. <laughs> Miss Belfridge, a.k.a. Candy Davis. Are you being served was where you'd find Miss Belfridge. And I, I don't really know what else to tell you about her. I mean, here you go. I'm really looking forward to this. This one too bright, Stephen. <laughs> You've got ever such nice knees. <laughs> Come on, sit down and get on with your work. Number two, Rear of the Year winner, yes, that was a thing, Felicity Kendall, who was Gemma Palmer in Solo, a sitcom on BBC One between 1981 and 1982. It was one of those bittersweet comedies, and yes, unsurprisingly for the 80s, and unsurprisingly for Kyle Lane, it was based on a tale of adultery. But you just want to see Kendall, right? So here you go. You've consulted the doctor, the police and the priest, but they didn't seem to manage to persuade her to come inside. No. <laughs> She's living in the lift. Is it a working lift? Maybe I could pay you in some other way. <laughs> Special mention time! This Muppet here with the eyelashes. Yes, technically 70s, but still ran into the 80s. This is Janice. She was the lead guitar player in Electric Mayhem. Oh, like, sure, just hang your aura on one of those hooks over there. You know, you should let me, like, pierce your ear. I never noticed, but you have great lobes. And number one, drum roll please, ladies and gentlemen, number one on the list of hottest 80s British sitcom babe is... Molly Sugden in... Thank you. I'm only joking, Lysette Anthony in anything you care to mention, it seems, because no matter what she appeared in, you lot fancied her, so there you go. But it was her appearance in Two Up, Three Down that got the most votes, according to my scientifically collected data, so here you go, you perverts. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nick. Thanks a lot. Where are you going? To the top, Nick. Ellie, you should come home tonight. I can help. Surprise, surprise. An dieses alte Lied, Sie wissen schon, verlieren ihr Grün die Wälder, werden gelb die Stoppelfelder. I say nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, now, do you model anymore? Do you still do that kind of work? Um, yeah, I do the odd photo session. Well, we've got one that we're looking at the moment, but I mean, in general, I mean... <laughs> you dirty fecker. <laughs>